Welcome back to part 16 of my King Harold Godwinson game. We have begun our conquest of Ireland uh, in order to hopefully eventually create our empire title. Uh, we also had a son born. Uh, pretty late. I'm 40 and she is 44, my wife. Uh, my eldest daughter is still a very viable backup uh, just in case things don't turn out well with our son. We got her married matrilineally, and she is a pretty strong character who I would be happy to play as. Uh, so we have our options open in that regard. Fortunately, it looks like Sweden, who we are allied with, uh, whom the king married our daughter, has somehow gotten this land over here, so now it's going to be a lot more difficult to declare war there. So we might kind of cancel that idea. And then just continue going for Ireland and uh, picking off pieces of Scotland whenever we can. So he got Rowdy, our son. Not a big fan of that. Uh, I think I'm past the point of wanting a son who is in Marshall. So I might just kind of ignore his personality trait and throw him in stewardship. Probably the most useful thing for us at this point in the game. Uh, where can we go to university? Cologne. That's not too far away actually. I think I'm going to do that. We'll try to upgrade. That's very expensive. I, I find that this usually doesn't give you a very good item. It gives, it gives you a, a really good quality item, but the actual attributes of it are pretty poor. Uh, so we'll go visit through... What is this? The old capital of um, the Frankish Empire? Uh, just to get something. Aachen. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, the Palace of Aachen. Um, but we only got that three-star education, so hopefully we'll be able to upgrade it this time. Get some good events, hopefully. Uh, and then after that, probably just continuing on our different wars. We're pretty close to getting um, by claim, which will allow us more options in our wars. Must focus on book. Be gone. Not going well so far. 85% massively more successful. I think we should go for it. That's that's a huge one. The massively more successful. It's worth the gamble, I think. Much more successful. Yeah, we have plenty of gold, so that's an easy choice. Hopefully we can make it at least to level 3. There we go. Sanction loopholes. Sixty five percent, or we take a ninety four stress. Uh, I think I'll go for it. Oh, we failed that one. Well, we're still level three, so we lost fortune builder, we gained Midas touch. Uh, we gained three unlocks, which is really nice. Um, so I could go down here to get some direct vassal opinion. I could go down here to get more levies and soon forgiven. Or I could just throw random points in here for a little bit more money. Republican rulers. These include our mayors, I believe. Oh, actually, maybe. Yeah, I think it does. 10% um, more taxes. I wish we could have gotten these points in a, in a different one, but it's just in whatever education type you're in. Yeah, we are going to war a little bit, so let's do that. Um, would I rather have cheaper men-at-arms? Do I have any dread? No, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, so yeah, let's just go like this, I guess. That's fine, and we'll make our way back to London. Uh, so let's buy a claim right here. 500 piety, we got plenty of piety to spare. And 
and our war here should be pretty easy. She's actually in debt. That's a lot of troops though, 14k. Uh, a lot of those are kind of far away. I might actually call my allies in though, just because better safe than sorry. We do have more by ourselves, but we're not really doing anything else with our prestige at this point, I don't think. So time for a little war with Scotland, a time-honored tradition. Uh, let's get Sweden over here at least. He's stopping us from expanding on some of our lands, so he might as well put a little work in. Uh, and maybe Toulouse, because he's a duke, so he's a little bit cheaper to call. That should be more than enough, I think. Um, Craven and Arbitrary. Okay, oh nice, Sweden can raise up their troops over here, that's even better. Don't have to wait so long for them to get here. Not sure where her troops are, Scotland. Uh, looks like Norway can raise up over here too, though, so they're going to be coming to help Scotland pretty quick. Um, but I'm just going to grab these two and then go for their capital, I think, and that should pretty much be that. There's Toulouse. Yeah, let's go. Can't see where their army is. Are they in another war? Ah, oh, that's probably it. They're participating in another war, so their army was already overseas somewhere. So we pulled a little sneak attack on them. Our eldest daughter still has not had any children. And we just got some event. Apparently my vassal, this guy, the sluggard, this 53 year old man is uh, sleeping with my daughter. It's kind of gross. There they are. The army of Savoy. Savoy is uh, sieging down the Isle of Man. I don't think they're going to get that in time though. No, I don't think so. So we might just be able to end the war super easy. Oh no! There we go. Phew! That was a little bit close. Uh, what did we get? Dunkeld Tapestry. No, that's getting destroyed. Where is this from? House head. Okay. Where did you get one gold? Oh, you got given a job. Okay. Just wait on that. So where's the the duchy title? Okay, I'm holding it personally. So I think we just give it back to this guy. Cumbrian. Interesting. He'll get that vassal. He'll get the, his duchy title back. Uh, we'll give him a little gold, and now he likes us more. So this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. So I think the next thing we'll do is probably buy a claim on this one. And I'm just going to make sure that we don't have any um, offensive war penalty. It looks like it's minus two right now. I don't like to clear offensive wars in quick succession of each other. Otherwise, that's going to start to stack up. So I like to let it tick down and, and go away. Uh, before I just go back to back wars really quickly. Um, so we went through all that work to get the um, the decision that gives you claims on all of Ireland and then we're not even going to use those claims because they're only for one county. It's not a very good claim honestly. Uh, this way we just get a duchy claim and then we can take the whole duchy at once. It's a lot easier. And we are pretty damn close actually. Uh, just gotta get a, f yeah, just gotta get the rest of the island basically, and then we can make this title. Uh, I think that's the easiest way to go. The Duchy of Albany would be fine too, but we already have a truce with them anyway. Legendary skill. Okay, sure. Let's recruit him then. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, let's increase our learning. We want to do that. Yeah, okay. So all of our vassals pretty much love us anyway at this point. Uh, I'm sure our offensive war penalty is gone at this point, so let's just go into another war here. What happened here? My spy master died of heart failure. He's really good, 24, so let's let him do it. Uh, just get Sweden in here. Yeah, let's get our same two guys in here. Uh, let's just go for the higher quality, I guess. We're pretty close on both of these. Let's go for the piety, I think. And we're almost at religious icon. Okay. Uh, I'm at least going to go get that Know Thyself before I decide to go into another tree, so we'll just keep doing that and then decide what we're going to do after. Stag Antler. I kind of like these ones that I have, though. They need to make uh, better quality items better, I think. Because right now some of these low quality items are actually a little bit better than they should be, it, it feels like. So here comes Sweden. Uh, I might just let them go and do whatever they're doing and just try to get their capital to end the war. They're just sieging one of my vassals' land, so it's not too big of a deal. Who are you? Ah, okay. So it looks like my allies might be going for them. I don't know exactly. What are you doing? Okay. So there was a murder me scheme, got abandoned. I think that we still have rivals, right? Yeah, it's this guy and his son. So one of them's trying to murder me, I think. Chased, that's fine. We're not going to be playing that daughter. 100%. Nice and easy. And I think we'll give that back to him. Yeah, let's get him to like us before we ask him to switch. So the Duchy of Munster, we'll give that back to you. Send you some gold, uh, and then ask you to convert. I think he said no. Son of a gun. Okay, let's free the prisoners of war. Create this as well, and then we'll just give this to you, and try to get these guys to convert. These random vassals. Is anyone going to convert? Aha! Perfect. Okay. Forty percent learning lifestyle experience. That's a lot. Wow. The rest of that item isn't very good, but that's certainly quite good. Certainly better than whatever we have here right now. Uh, yeah, stress gain minus two is kind of whatever. Uh, let's gift that to the Holy Roman Emperor. Enjoy that. And then... I think we'll just go ahead and buy a claim here as well. Pretty easy to keep this going. Um, yeah, that war was basically over before it even started, so there's no offensive war penalty unless it, unless the war continues to like drag on, kind of. Wow, 600 gold additional taxes, that's a lot. Um, so our culture is slowly spreading. We'll help it continue along. 
if you're gonna do that you might as well convert um, but I think I'm just gonna get started on the next war over here and uh, then once we do that we'll be able to create this kingdom title and then this this guy here might just submit to us uh, so we'll just try to do it in that in that way might as well continue the tradition of dragging Sweden into lose into our war We'll leave our brothers out of it. Uh, but having Sweden come down from here and cut them off is always really nice. So they're sieging Dublin. I'll go and fight them. And grab the capital, and then that should be pretty much over too. Ireland was not ready for us at all. Still just 45 on this character, not bad. Not sure why they're not having kids. I guess he is chaste. Um, what I could do, and maybe will do, is create that duchy title and then just give the land to my son-in-law here the Isle of Man um, we can still use her as a backup uh, the land there will still go to her children I mean the children that they have that are in our house uh, it's just making them more likely to actually uh, do something unlanded characters don't tend to have as many children as landed characters do because they have no reason to, I guess. But that's why it can be useful to have an extra duchy in your back pocket. Okay, so now we create Ireland and Meath, and then he will become our vassal. And then that should be enough to create our empire title. Perfect. Um, so we have Meath and Connaught. We'll give that back to you. And then send you a gift, and then hopefully you will convert. Cool. Uh, and then, oh, you're a kid. Maybe we'll give it to her. And then hopefully you'll convert as well. She wants a hook. Nah, it doesn't matter. We need a new chancellor. That works. Um, so Scotland is kind of our de jure. Oh, Denmark's capital is actually over here too. Um, but we've been at war recently. Uh, and they're, he's not so happy with us. Also, kings just don't like to submit generally, so it's you can't really make a king become your vassal. So he has minus 200 from being a king and minus 197 overall. So if he wasn't a king, then he would already be our vassal. Um, but with that, I am feeling pretty good about this game. I've accomplished most of what I wanted to accomplish in it. Um, I find that most of the fun from this specific start generally comes from uh, the very beginning of it because you have to defend your kingdom from two different claimants uh, which we were able to do successfully and then since then it's basically just been about establishing our house as the like dominant power here uh, in the region which we've easily more than done. Um, you know, we have plenty of piety, prestige, gold, our family is well set up to basically take over in whichever direction we want from this point. Um, but I think that I'm much more likely to enjoy playing a different game at this point. I feel like I've accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, uh, defending House Godwin and setting them up as rulers.
Emperor of Britannia now. Um, so I think that this will be the last part in this series. Um, so I'm going to be starting a new series that I will have uploaded tomorrow. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, I was thinking about doing something down in Iberia, since I haven't done an Iberia game yet. The, um, the new DLC is coming, Persia. So once it's out, I'm going to be playing in Persia, obviously. Probably like my next four or five games will be in Persia after the new DLC is out. Uh, as I try out all the recommended starts there and stuff like that. So probably one more series I'll do in Iberia somewhere uh, before the new DLC comes out and I'll get started there whenever it comes out. And I'm really looking forward to the uh, Persia DLC. I think it looks great already. Hopefully, hopefully it is not a disappointment. Because I feel like some of the DLCs have been a little hit or miss, but in 2023 so far they've been really great. The Tours and Tournaments was great and uh, for a little flavor pack, the uh, friends and foes, no, what is it? Not friends and foes. Uh, I don't know why I can't think of the name. Wards and Wardens, that's it. Was a, a pretty good one too, so I think they're doing well recently and I'm looking forward to the next one. Um, but yeah, I think I'm pretty much done with this game. Thank you for watching this. Uh, if you enjoyed it, I'm going to be starting a new series after this, so please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.